like we are seeing snippets come out, positivity, Marrow came out and said, like, it's a better place to be. It feels like there's a few people, I'm not expecting you to talk about what it was like because you're in the moment now and, and clearly loving it. But what has Steve and Kevin Simfield done for the environment? Is it the obvious thing that we think they've just freshened it up and made it a happier place or are there more kind of specifics in terms of not you've got to think right so people are talking about putting on an England jersey or putting on an international jersey it should be the highest moment the, the, the most fun best experience of their life but it felt like before it wasn't but it feels like they've brought that back yeah it's, it's special it feels real special um again I think there was a a lot of pressure before um, and that's just down to the way that the coaching was set up um, and pressure is not necessarily a bad thing but I think that pressure comes in probably a different form under Steve and Kev um, I think a lot of people have got so much respect for those two Steve's um, honest in the way he does things it's never personal and, and Kev everyone knows what he's he's done off the field so the amount of respect that those two have got you, you want to fight for him you want to work hard for him um, and any bits of coaching they want to put across to you, you're so happy to sort of take that on and, and, and take that on board. And it just feels like everything we're doing in camp in the moment makes sense. And it definitely hasn't been perfect. There's heaps we can we can work on still, but um, I think we, we, want, we want to be a fast learning team. We want to take on those messages as quickly as possible. And I think if you've got the passion, enjoyment and uh, the energy to, to want to play for England, pulling a shirt with, with the the freedom of, of not necessarily that that pressure from coaches, I think it's a it's a really good combination and something we're we're trying to get right at the moment. What's been the assessment of the first two games so far? Oh, I, I don't think we've. I think the really pleasing thing has been we've we we, we had opportunities to win the game um, against Scotland, um, but we, we we showed some steps forward in the way that we've we've been playing for England. Um, it's obviously a new new coaching setup, so we, we've, we're pleased we've taken some messages. But I, I still feel like we're not happy with, with, with where we where we're, we're necessarily at. I think even against Italy, I know we got the win. We came in on Tuesday, was it? And there was still everyone was. Let's get this right. Let's get this right. Let's get after things straight away, and take and take things on board. Let's learn quickly. So we 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 know where we can take this team. It's just necessarily we, we've got to be better week on week and we'll be better next week and if we bet the week after that and we'll, we'll see that we'll see where that gets us at the moment but yeah I think, I think the general feeling is is excitement um, we're, we're learning a lot um, we're coming together as a team and it feels like this is this is it is just a, just the beginning really I think there's a lot of pressure on England there always is isn't there there's an expectation from externally from fans of course uh, all over the world English people littered all over the world do you feel that expectation do you think it's trying to manage their expectations that it's not going to be a quick fix because you bring in Steve Borthwick and then Kev Simfield and everyone's like oh Sir Kev he's in everything's all going to be fixed and then you saw there was a few issues in defence in that game against Scotland it is going to be a slow burner but just for the England fans who are listening to this like is it trying to manage their expectations I don't think I don't think managing expectations is probably the, the, the right way to go about it we I think we we want to show that we're we're passionate and we're excited about putting on an England jersey, and we're willing to work really hard to make things make things better for for English rugby. And I think if we've got that and we're improving our rugby week on week, um, that that's that's all we can focus focus on really. Um, the, the most important game, Steve always says it is is the next one. What's coming up, and we're not looking too far ahead about. What 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 results we could potentially get in the, in the future? It's just very much what can we do this week to be better next week? And as long as that desire and that fight's there, willing to play for England, then um, we can we can fix it. Yeah, absolutely. Kevin Sinfield did have a baptism baptism of fire because of I, I think more so the Duan van der Merwe try was the headline moment. And as a Scotland fan, uh, I'm an England fan as well, quarter English. Lewis, not too sure if you're aware of that. But I am, <laughs> I'm an English fan. I've got mates in the team and stuff. I'm a huge fan of Borthwick unbelievable fan of Kevin Sinfield for obvious reasons but it was a quick baptism of fire for him wasn't it as defensive coach after the headline try of that Duan van der Merwe how did he address the team after that did he say anything what's his way of communicating with everyone it's just it's, it's very similar to Steve what can we what can we do better um, 
we're under no delusion that that's one of the best runners of the ball in, in world rugby and um, we're not going to panic about our defence because he's he's broken us there. It's a fantastic try. I think he would have scored that against a, a lot of international teams. But Kev's very level-headed. Um, he's got a, a, a massive amount of respect and he just looked it through the, the lens of, OK, what can we do better this game? What do we do well? What do we need to keep? Um, and and we went after that the, the following week and we've been going after things this week as well. So that, I think, has been... Uh, the, the highlight for me is there's, there's, there feels like there's there's no panic. It's just what can we do better? How can we improve? Um, and we'll see where they get. 